G'day guys, it's Rob from TAT. Today we just got a little tip on checking a CAN network with a single channel scope. So stick with us. So normally when we're looking at a CAN network, we have two channels like we can see here. We've got the blue channel, uh, one channel on CAN high, and we've got the red channel, one channel on CAN low. Um, and this is the, the reading that we normally get. The top one is what you can see we normally get. Um, if you've only got a, a one channel scope, for example, you may be thinking that you can't actually look at a CAN network because of this two channel design that you're normally used to looking at on a typical high speed CAN network. Um, if you look at the bottom here, we've got a math channel in purple. We set up a math channel, uh, which is channel A, which is CAN high, and that's minus channel B, CAN low. So as you can see, at a given point where CAN high is 3.5 volts, for example, and CAN low is 1.5 volts, for example, we get the difference two volts on the math channel below. And that's what you can see in the actual math channel itself. The advantage of this is that you only really need one channel on a scope to view it. And any fault that you can see on the CAN network, shown in CAN high and CAN low, will it'll basically be replicated in the math channel. As you can see here, if we go to the other one, you can see we've got our fault happening on the CAN high and CAN low. And if we look below, you can see the anomalies in the math channel itself also. So really all we do to achieve the same effect on a one channel scope is to connect the signal lead to CAN high and the ground lead to CAN low and essentially we're viewing the math channel on our single channel scope which as you can see here and it's a quick easy way particularly if you've got a very small you know one of these u-scopes or uh, you know really small single channel scope and you've got an intermittent fault it's great to go for a drive with this thing connected instead of carting a bigger scope around um, and yeah that's uh, we, we thought this was a really good tip uh, for a lot of people that obviously we're getting a lot of network faults lately and um, they're going to be more prevalent as we go. So there you go guys, hopefully that makes a bit of sense and someone can make good use of that if you've got a single channel scope lying around and you weren't sure whether you could check a CAN network. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.